Uh, now, new analysis suggests the bill for repairing roads in England and Wales because of potholes, potholes could be £14 billion pounds in the next two years. That's several times more than the £4.4 billion currently spent annually by councils on transport and highways. Well, local councils have warned that the cost of repairs could see 2017 become a tipping point for tackling potholes, perhaps unsurprisingly. Uh, let's get more on all this from uh, Will and Mark. So we've sent out to Maidstone this morning and presumably you have found us a good pothole, Willem. Doing my best, guys. And I just want to express some scepticism about those numbers. Uh, you've got an industry trade body, that's the Asphalt Industry Alliance, releasing a survey every year. The last numbers came out in March. They mentioned that currently the country, local government, is spending £12 billion a year. They're projecting it up to 14. That is based on some quite selective data, I should add. However, we're in a small village just outside Maidstone. As you mentioned, I'm very happy to say that we're joined by David Murray from Cycling UK. Cyclists clearly on the front line of the pothole problem in the UK. What difference does it make to have potholes on your journey to work, for instance, versus not? It makes such a difference because when, it, if, if, when you find yourself on a road that's absolutely riddled with potholes, you're spending so much more of your time concentrating on the road rather than necessarily the traffic that's with you. So that experience is not just about a comfy ride, it's actually about a safe ride. So whilst those statistics might not be necessarily a clear reflection, we know that from uh, studies through Parliament just before Christmas that the number of killed and seriously injured on our roads who are cycling because of poorly maintained roads is still a big issue and one that needs to be fixed. So Cycling UK really does want to see uh, those potholes found and fixed, which is why we've got an app called Fill That Hole at fillthathole.org.uk, which helps anybody, motorists and cyclists alike, to be able to report those potholes quickly and get them fixed as quickly too. Now, when, when you, you live in this area, you live just a mile up the road, you mentioned to me, when you go into the local station to go to work or whatever it is, what are you thinking about your local council? What do they need to do better when it comes to, is it about finding these potholes, is it about repairing them quickly? The local government association is saying that it could be 10, 14 years in some parts of the country for them to catch up with the backlog of potholes. Do you understand the pressure they're under from central government in terms of the funding problems? Yeah, I do. And unfortunately, it doesn't take very long to head out from your door wherever you are in the country to find a pothole on, on your road. So that issue of trying to find and fix those potholes quickly is a, is a big problem. And of course, the pressure on local uh, government is that those funds are, are still seem to be shrinking and they are scrabbling around to find the cash to get them fixed. But the problem is an inherent problem. Wherever there's rain and freeze on our roads, we will see potholes. So it's an issue that has to be fixed. And indeed salt, clearly, when we have cold weather. And we're actually reporting live from Salts Lane just outside Maidstone. Back to you guys in the studio.